Hello, it's Wednesday, May the 18th, 2011, and I'm Martin Smith with a daily outlook from Maxiforex. The dollar fell versus most of the major currencies for the second day in a row due to weak economic news. Industrial production in the U.S. unexpectedly stalled in April. In addition, housing starts dropped, posing hurdles to a rebound from the first quarter's economic slowdown. Unemployment at 9% and stagnant wages indicate any recovery in housing may take years to unfold. Job growth is essential to household formation and to keep home prices from falling further. Stock markets closed mixed as the Dow fell by 0.55% and the Nasdaq gained 0.03%. Crude oil rose by 0.80% to close at $97.70 a barrel. Gold lost 0.40% and closed at $1,485 an ounce. Today, the FOMC meeting minutes are expected to be released. The euro strengthened against the US dollar as European finance ministers tackled the region's sovereign debt crisis. In addition, Portugal got approval for its 78 billion euro bailout. European finance ministers for the first time floated the idea of talks with bondholders over extending Greece's debt repayment schedule, saying that the last rescue failed to restore the country to financial health. But still as inflation accelerated, the euro gained, boosting pressure on the European Central Bank to raise interest rates. Trading above resistance at 142.50 will keep the momentum positive for the pair. However, if the pair stays below 142.50, it might fall even further. Overall, the euro dollar traded with a low of 140.47 and a high of 143.30. No economic data is expected today. The pound strengthened against the dollar for the second day as the report showed inflation accelerated more than forecast in April, prompting investors to bet on higher interest rates. The trend for the pair is bullish if the pair continues to maintain 162.20. Overall, the pound dollar traded with a low of 161.46 and a high of 165.16. The dollar strengthened against the yen after the pair succeeded in breaking 81. The US dollar is showing strength against the yen despite the weak economic news from the US. The trend for the pair is bullish. If the pair succeeds in breaking 81.80, it may bring the pair down to 82.50. Finally, the Australian dollar strengthened against its U.S. counterpart due to the U.S. dollar weakness. Earlier today in the RBA meeting minutes, RBA Governor Stevens announced that the board will leave the cash rate unchanged at 4.75% for a sixth consecutive month, and the country will surely be in need of higher interest rates at some point to keep a lid on price pressures. The Aussie fell immediately after the announcement, soon resort 800 pips. No economic data is expected today. That's it from me. Be sure to visit us at maxiforex.ru.